be a knight. Yes, William. If he believes enough, a man can do anything. We could do this. In one month, we could be on our way to glory and riches none of us ever dreamed of. He can't even joust. I think he's getting worse. He is getting worse. And I won't spend the rest of my life as nothing. You have to be of noble birth to compete. So we lie. My lords, my ladies, I have the pride, the privilege, nay, the pleasure of introducing to you a knight sired by knights. William Thatcher didn't make the rules. He was born. I've waited my whole life for this moment. To break them. Yes! Thank you, I'll be here all week. Well, that was different. Are you well? Ulrich von Lichtenstein from Gelderland. Sir Ulrich von Lichtenstein. I would have him win my heart. You're my favorite knight. He's won four tournaments in a row. On a horse, that man is unbeatable. You're just a silly boy with a horse and a stick. It's called a lance. Hello? If the nobles find out who you are, they'll be the devil to pay. Pray that they don't. Ulrich von Lichtenstein is not who he appears to be. They're going to arrest you. A dozen royal guards. I love you. There's nothing else to do. Run, and I will run with you. I will not run! I'm a knight. I am here to compete. Yeah! This dance will I. A Knight's Tale is an action-adventure romance movie that was released on May 11, 2001. I don't think I've reviewed a movie with Heath Ledger before, so this will be a new start, I guess. Although you really don't want me to review the movie he's really known for. Trust me, you don't. Anyway, I'm going to review, tell you what I feel about this particular movie. We will start with the story. The story follows a peasant squire named William Marshall who dreams of becoming a jouster. William goes with his friends Roland and Chad to find a writer known as Chaucer. Apparently you have to be of noble birth to, complete in the, to compete in the jousting tournaments and the three convince Chaucer to forge genealogy documents that will pass William off as a knight. It works but it's only a matter of time before the kingdom will find out the truth behind this new knight. Overall, the story does use a lot of tropes that I'm way too familiar with. It uses a lot of sports cliches. However, it's done in a medieval setting, so that does make them feel a bit more unique than they would be elsewhere. But the one other trope that they use that I'm not a fan of that I'm not a fucking fan of is the liar reveal trope. More on that later. While I'm not a fan of either of these tropes, I actually don't hate this story. There are aspects I do like about it. The movie has a very rebellious spirit buried deep within it. William is a character who, by all intents and purposes, is a knight who challenges societal norms of the medieval period, but still shows his own version of chivalry and bravery that a knight is known for having. That is pretty fucking amazing. Even still, he has weaknesses that don't really make him completely unsympathetic. He has a hard time come trying to make up things on the spot. He often relies on his friends for advice. That is a very relatable flaw that I have to an extent. While I think the scene where he struggles to come up with poetry the way he did when he wrote something to his love interest Jocelyn has many things that 
really fucking annoy me. But the last line is well written. Actually, the movie overall has good writing, for the most part. I do really kind of like the uh, poetic nature of some of it. But it manages to also be lighthearted and fun at parts, too. Some of the jokes with William and his friends are actually pretty good and pretty edgy. Like, one of his friends, Kate, claims to have seen Jocelyn's breasts and tells him that they're not very impressive. Or even when a man walks around naked. This was back when PG-13 movies were actually edgy. But there are also some parts that will, that annoy me about the story too. Like, when Jocelyn tells William to lose a jousting tournament for her. William deliberately loses the next match. And his friends are all like, what the fuck? Why did you lose the match? But after that happens, Jocelyn tells him to win a match. So, are you noble for winning or losing a match? Make up your damn mind. I'm just as confused as William is. Although I don't like it when he says women are confusing. Uh, I think only this woman is confusing. Then again, people in general can be pretty confusing. Another thing, and this is actually a huge problem that I have with the movie. Jocelyn says that William is brave for because he showed mercy. And Count Al Alamar, who is the villain, says that showing mercy is a sign of weakness. You know, Alamar actually has a good point. Passivism begets weakness. I'm bringing this up because if you want me to root for the heroes, you should make the villain make points that I don't agree with at all. I'm not saying you should have the villain only make bad arguments, but I can't remember a single time when this villain actually made a bad argument. Alomar is just kind of more of a bad sport and rival for William than an actual villain in the story. But he's treated like a villain in this movie. I just feel he's not evil enough for that. I will touch on the scene when William is revealed to be a fake knight to the kingdom. His friends tell him not to compete, but William refuses to take their advice and competes anyway. They do arrest him. However, Prince Edward comes and says that even though he may not have been of noble birth, he truly embodied the characteristics of a knight and acknowledges the kindness William showed him. He then actually sires knight William as an he then actually sires William as a knight and allows him to compete. I actually kind of like what they did here. It actually brings a new take on the tired old liar reveal trope. William actually didn't need to face any consequences for his actions because it would have actually been cruel if it happened. He actually did show bravery and chivalry in this movie and when Edward said that, I believed him. It also goes to show that that rule that you have to be of noble birth is to compete is a fucking stupid rule that has no reason to exist. It also shows that... Fuck. It also shows that maybe his friends don't always have the best judgment. So, so many goddamn things to think about, but by all means, bring them on. As for the jousting scenes themselves, they're actually pretty entertaining. Yeah, they're done as a sports movie, but the fact that I actually got was invested in the sport says a hell of a lot about how unique this movie is for making it about a medieval sport. There is a sword fight earlier in the movie that is also pretty damn good. 
So yeah, I really fucking dig the uh, medieval action. As for the production values, the cinematography, editing, and sound and sets are all, all well done. Not much to say about them. The music is something else. The score is nothing special, but there are a ton of 1970s and 1980s hard rock songs in this movie. You got songs like We Will Rock You by Queen, The Boys Are Back in Town by Thin Lizzy, and the movie even ends with You Shook Me All Night Long by ACDC. What do I think of this? Well, I actually think it works. Hear me out. It works in the same way it worked in Shrek. It is done to set the rebellious tone of this that this movie is going for. It's a way to let the audience know that this is not your typical medieval movie. Overall, A Knight's Tale is a decent movie. While the story has a few problems, it manages to have some genuinely good aspects about it. It also has some decent writing and jousting action to keep you entertained. I felt that the villain could have been more hateable than he actually was, and I'm not the biggest fan of Jocelyn as a character, to be quite honest. These are flaws that really do affect my enjoyment of it, of it but I can't deny that there were parts that I legitimately made me enjoy myself quite a bit. So yeah, I would recommend watching this movie at least once. I give A Knight's Tale 3 out of 5 stars with the title of Worth Watching. Anyway, I'm Spike Robot. If you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel. And see you next time. Honor the Freedom Jinkos.